Now to Cape Town, Norman Simons, commonly known as Cape Town Station Strangler, is out of prison. He was arrested in 1994 after the bodies of 22 boys were found in shallow graves around the city. But he was convicted of only one murder. His release, after more than 28 years, has been shrouded in secrecy, with correctional services giving the media conflicting dates. Today, it responded with a one-liner, saying, Simons was released today. Aisha Ismail reports. This is where many of the 22 bodies were found between 1986 and 1994. Young boys were the ones targeted. The victims were all buried with their hands tied, and they had been sodomized. It wasn't only the people of Mitchell's Plain who were gripped by fear, but those across the Western Cape. A teacher at Alpine Primary School, Norman Simons, was arrested and later sentenced for the murder of 10-year-old Alroy van Royen. Decades later, people are still questioning whether the police caught the right man and who killed the other 21 boys. No forensic evidence ever linked Mr. Simons uh, to the case. In fact, it was the opposite. The forensic ev evidence pointed to a different person's DNA um, on many, at many of the crime scenes. Um, finger fingerprints found on a note uh, that read many more in store were not Mr. Simons' uh, fingerprints. Um, my father at the time requested that those things be retested. The police refused. Some Mitchell Spain residents say they still have more questions than answers. At the end of the day, he was only convicted of one. So a name tag was given to him, Station Strangler, which I believe it's an unfair process because 21 of those victims, there was no conviction. It is still cold cases and it is a disservice to our communities. He and others are calling for the cases of the 21 boys to be reopened so the families can get justice and closure. Is he going to wear a bracelet, a bangle, whatever? How are they going to monitor him? You see, so that because the other people and the other children that were killed, I mean, there are still people walk, if it wasn't him that they've done all that, they are still walking around if they enough, if they had not passed on by now. Modis operandi. Same. So for me, there was no copycat. The other question is, did the police do their work? Simon's parole conditions are strict. They include house arrest 24-7 and monitoring by correctional services. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.